Imagine finding a note on your front door <laughs> that says you've been egged. I wouldn't like that. Uh, well, no, at first you might be upset, like Dana. But in this case, it's meant to bring smiles. It is. With Easter just around the corner on Sunday and social distancing in full force, a new effort to bring people together, gaining some traction. Sadie All spoke with some local women and then shared their experience on Facebook. She has more. Sadie. Dana Mike, the traditional Easter gathering and larger than life egg hunts will be put on pause this year along with many other events. Now there's a growing trend in egging a friend's house. I talked with two local women who felt the warmth of the small gesture. Look, we have a note. An average Thursday for Rachel McCarty and her four-year-old daughter Kelly turned into a surprise quest. It says, you've been egged. There are 10 eggs hidden in your yard. A gesture from a family friend gave them something to do during Indiana's stay-at-home order and with school out. Let's face it, I don't have fun things to do like every day for her. Um, school always has activities every day, so it's been kind of hard to adjust for her especially. Is there any up here? <gasps> Good job! The idea is simple. Hide Easter eggs at a friend's house and leave a note. Brittany Dunkley was inspired to spread some holiday cheer after her home was egged by a friend. As soon as my girls came out and saw the note and saw the eggs, my oldest daughter immediately said, can we go do this to other people? And they did. Quite a bit. We have filled um, 200 eggs oh and taken them to about 10 different houses. Which was an especially kind gesture for McCarty. She works in the medical field and faces the reality of COVID-19 each day. Though her facility is low risk, she takes extra precautions coming home to her daughter. So a warm embrace isn't the first thing she'll do. It's stressful. It's an Easter that replaces traditional holiday gatherings. We always have a big Easter celebration at our house and we have about 30 family members come and it's going to be very strange this year with just my kids and my husband and I here. But it's one that will build a special memory. So I'm super excited and super thankful. I thought it was so nice. A thoughtful gesture during a time when many need it most. Thank you. Now, Brittany Dunkley says her family doesn't have any more eggs right now, but the next time she does a Walmart order, she will likely buy more eggs and candy to continue spreading some Easter cheer.